Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda Paramashivam Let's start with the Sadguru Vandana. Nityanandam Paramasukanam Kevalam Yanamotim Dvandvatitam Gaganasadusham Tattamasya Dilakshyam Ekam Nityam Vimalamachalam Sarvadi Sakshi Bhutam Bhavatitam Trigunarahitam Sadgurum Tam Namami Let's go through the disclaimers. Security measures. No photography, video, audio, recording. Important cautions. Please be aware of the important cautions. What is spa manifestation? Let's hear from Bhagwan himself explaining what is spa manifestation. All the 25 states of consciousness, when they happen in you, due to your chemicals and hormones, ups and downs, it is powerlessness. When it happens in you, out of your free will and consciousness, it is powerfulness. That's all. When you fall into sleep, it is powerlessness. When you enter into sleep, it is powerfulness. When you fall into dream, it is powerlessness. When you decide to dream, it is powerfulness. So I have added the ultimate powerfulness, Turiya Adita, Turiya Adita, in your whole being and doing, manifest all the powers. Understand, power manifestation is nothing but cognitive shift. It is not work. It is cognitive shift. Understand? It is just cognitive shift. It's not work. Work is a four-letter word. Power manifestation is cognitive shift. Playing with life. Playing with being alive. 
static matter, dynamic activity, strategic existence, all these three has no boundary. You are one with it. You are alive in everything. Everything listens to you. Everything decides as you want. Power manifestation is cognitive shift, raising your frequency, not work. Now let's understand who is Paramashiva. Bhagwan himself has beautifully explained the Paramashiva in all of us. Paramashiva does Manifestation, maintenance, rejuvenation, pulling out of delusion and liberation. He resides in his supreme Paramashiva Swarupa as Ajomuha, Radhomuha, unborn. Beyond form, formlessness. Is Paramashiva Swarupa. That Paramashiva Swarupa manifests with these five faces as Sadashiva, Tatpurusha, Vamadeva, Ahora, Satyojata, Ishana. Five faces he manifests and does. The Panjakritya, Srishti, Manifestation, Stiti, Sustenance, Samhara, Rejuvenation, Probhava, Pulling out of Delusion, Anukraha, Liberation. Understand, he does all these five jobs. Through these five faces. Now listen carefully. Tatpurusham, Vamadevam, Satyojatam, Ahoram, Ishanam. These five faces, thus Panchakrityas, each face, each dimension. It's not just one F-A-C-E -E face, P-H-A-S-E face. It's not just F-A-C-E, P-H-A-S-E. Understand? The creation. Not just creation getting created. Even sustenance need to be created. Destruction need to be created and pulling out of delusion need to be created. Liberation need to be created. Then create creation, manifestation need to be maintained. Maintenance, city itself need to be maintained. Destruction, samhara. The rejuvenation need to be sustained, maintained when it is happening. Pulling out of delusion, Trubhava, need to be maintained when it is happening. And Anugraha, liberation, need to be maintained when it is happening. Those micro milliseconds when it is happening. So understand, Satyojata Murti as five phase, Ishana Murti as five phase, Vamadeva Murti as five phase, Agora Murti as five phase, Tatpurusha Murti as five phase, so, 
Tatpurushamurti has his five face. Agora Murti has his five face. Vamadeva Murti has his five face. Satyojada Murti has his five face. Ishana Murti has his five face. All these five Murtis, five five faces put together is 25 faces of Mahasadashi. Bhagwan beautifully explained Parameshiva. Now, who is his divine holiness? Bhagwan Nityananda Parameshiva. Let's hear from Bhagwan himself. Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagatguru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Nityananda Parameshiva, is a reviver of Kailasha, the ancient Enlightenment civilization, the great cosmic borderless nation is an avatar from and is a supreme pontiff of Hinduism. His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Paramashivam, has made signs of our manifestation, yoga, temple-based university for humanity, so which in order of Kailasha, led by His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Paramashivam, and Nityananda order of monks, nuns, Hindu diasporas, are working for global peace to give superconscious breakthrough to humanity. Nityananda Hindu University, world's largest with extended campus in 150 countries, is collecting, organizing, preserving, time capsuling, decoding, spreading, and reviving 20 million source books of Hinduism and 64 sacred arts. Science like Ayurveda, music, dance, sculpting, astrology, Vastu, and many more. His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwaram, is 293rd. Guru Mahasanidhanam of Shamala Pita Sarvanya Pita, ancient apex body of Hinduism and present emperor of Surya Vamsa Surangi Swamrajyam. His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwaram, has survived the worst prosecution of multiple assassination attempts on person and character by anti Hindu elements. Beautifully, Bhagavan now explains. Who is His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam? Everything is infinitely powerful. You realize your potentiality. You establish yourself in the completion, space of completion. You are God, that's all. All of us are gods. First experience is that I was able to see everything around me, above me, the whole 360 degree. I realized not only I was able to see, I was able to feel, experience the skin of the stone on rock on which I was sitting, the skin of his body, both carry me equally. In both, I exist equally. Sangha is a place where the tattvas are taught to you and till it becomes satya, you are supported. Gadas are basically founded by Sadashiva himself. All his ganas, Shiva ganas, exactly the word gana means. In your length, breadth, depth, if you are filled by Shiva, you are Shiva gana. All the Shiva ganas form the first akada. Later on, much later, Kapilamuni organizes Mahanirvani akada. Then, all other akadas. As Mahamandaleshwar of Mahanirvani Akada, the oldest apex body of Hinduism, I welcome every one of you. What I am 
teaching is from original agamas yoga pada the signs very clearly declared sada shiva is very clear manifestation of this powers happen when you experience oneness with sada shiva when you choose your guru the best thing is find a person who is enlightened experience who can play with energy who can directly transmit experience to you and who is in tune with the original shastras the source of the knowledge all the revealed scriptures available about the yoga directly by sada shiva for you to do research study practice question the people who teach The science of our manifestation is a gift to the humanity, which is authentic, time-tested, scientific, and foolproof. Diksha, or the initiation from His Divine Holiness, Nityananda Parameshwar makes the science directly an experience for the initiates. The experience is directly authenticated by the Pramanas. The Shastra Pramanas, the eternal, unchangeable truth revealed in the source scriptures, the Veda and Agamas, the Apta Pramanas, the experience of the rishis, munis, ganas, nainamars, alvars, and siddhars, who are the authority of Hinduism, who are who have scientists who time tested and verified the science of our manifestation. The atma pramanas are the avatar who land on the planet Earth to give a superconscious breakthrough to humanity. His divine holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwaram, this millennium's avatar, personal experience of our manifestation. Shakshi Pramanas or the experience of the millions of disciples, devotees and followers initiated into the science of our manifestation by Bhagwan himself. Pratyaksha Pramanas or the scientific studies which can be measured, measuring the effect of being in the enlightened state. Powerful cognition from Bhagavad Gita Satsang. Let's go to powerful cognition from Bhagavad Gita Satsang. Naturally, you are walking towards suffering. As long as you carry the instinct to survive, please be very clear, again and again and again, you will be hurting yourself. You will be hurting yourself. Just today morning, I was talking to an ashram. She was complaining to me that she is hurt even by a small words, which comes from others. She was telling, I am too sensitive, Swamiji. I said, stop that word. You are not sensitive. A real sensitive person will be porous. He will allow the words to pass through him. Only arrogant people get hurt. If you are hurt, please be very clear, you are arrogant. You are strong like a stone. That is why words come and hit you. And you are hurt. If you are sensitive, porous, you will, just let, you will just let the words pass you. You will just let the words pass you. You will never suffer. Suffering is always from arrogance. Never from sensitivity. Person who is sensitive will never suffer. Because you will just allow the words to pass you. You will not stop them. You suffer by a word when you stop them. When you resist them, when you make meaning out of them, when you don't make meaning out of words, you never suffer. Words can never create suffering when you don't make meanings out of it. It's like a 
just playing with words we always choose nice words to support our ego we don't want to say i am hurt because i am arrogant we always use a polished word i am hurt because i am sensitive please don't cheat yourself with words let you be straight let the straight words be used As especially in america i see lot of polished words <laughs> lot of polished words people easily cheat themselves with the words people easily cheat themselves with words please don't cheat yourself with polished words let things be straight let everything be clear never ever use the polished words you can use the polished words to cheat others but don't use it on yourself <laughs> don't use it on yourself a small story one contractor wanted to give donate a car gift a car a sports car to an official official said no 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 i am honest person i cannot think of accepting this gift i am not that type contractor says in that case if i can sell this car for a car to you for 10 dollars how it will be he says in that case i will have two cars <laughs> be very clear just playing with words playing with words don't cheat yourself with words let us be clear what is let us use the same word ramakrishna says man muk ek karo let your words and mind be straightened let your words and mind be straightened whatever is let it be straightened with words at least you will know you have problem when you use when you start using very colorful polished words by and by you forget you have some problem you forget you have some problem and you just play with the words you yourself forget you have problem understand when you know you don't know at least you know you don't know when you don't know that you don't know you don't even know you don't know <laughs> be very clear at least let you know you have a problem let you know that there is something wrong let us use the straight words shortest distance between two points is always a straight line to achieve anything shortest way is straight forwardness shortest distance between two points is always a straight line same way if you want to achieve anything the shortest way is straight forwardness nothing else can work here krishna gives all the qualities one by one of course we can't even explain all the qualities he goes on fearlessness the first thing as long as you carry the instinct to survive you will have fear you will have fear fear can never be taken away from your being as long as you wanted to survive surrendering to the existence surrendering to the death is the one and only way to achieve fearlessness there's a beautiful upanishad katopanishad if you find time you all should read the katopanishad instead of watching the jerry springer show <laughs> that's what and the most popular show in america when we, when it comes to some shastras we all tell no time this is not there that is not there but somehow we find time for everything instead of watching all those shows you can better read this kata upanishad understand this is a beautiful upanishad no but see we can't compare any other system with vedanta or vedic rishis they have gone so deep into the science of death west has dedicated its whole energy whole energy for life 
and the East has dedicated its whole energy to understand death. That is why Rishis, they live even when they die. They live when they die also. Even after death, they live. They exist. They discovered the art of living even after death. But people who are caught in the material world, they die every moment even when they live. When they are alive. The Upanishad is the science of death. Beautiful story. Young boy goes to the Yama's abode, Lord of Death, Death's abode, and the story is beautiful. Yama receives him. Of course, three days he was not there. His uh, servants tried to receive him, but the Nachiketa, Nachiketa is the hero. He says, No, I'll wait till Yama comes. When Yama comes, he comes and receives him. He welcomes him. Understand? Nobody goes to Yama's abode. Only he comes to our abode. <laughs> Always he comes. When you try to escape from him, he is death. He will take away all your eye and mind. All your possessions will be taken away from you. You cannot sign your check anymore. You cannot use your car anymore. You cannot have your relations anymore. Whatever you think as yours or you, everything will be taken away from you. Yours, all the wealth, relationships, your bank balance, everything. And you, what you think as you is that body. Even that will be taken away. Everything will be taken away when death comes to you. But when you go to him, see the story. Story says, Yamadharma receives Nachiketa with love and care. <coughs> First thing, he becomes your host. Loving host. Next, he says, please have three boons. I will bless you with three boons. Let me give you three boons. And Nachiketa first asks for relationship. He says, when I go back to my family, my father should accept me, love me and take me into his family. Yama blesses him with the relationships. Next, Yama gives him all the wealth and shows the path to create wealth. Nachiketagni, all the pleasure and comforts. He teaches him the method to create wealth and pleasure. All the comforts. He is behaving like a god. First, he is behaving like a loving host. Then, he is behaving like a god. Next, ultimately, he gives the Atman Jnana. He is behaving like a master, enlightened master. And he, give, he gives Atman Jnana. Because Nachiketa asks for the secret of death. Then he blesses him with the enlightenment. Look at the life, the paradox of the life. When we run away from death, even then you can't run away. He will chase you wherever you are. He will chase you. He will chase you. He will take away all your wealth, take away all your relationships, take away whatever you think as you and yours. Here, the whole scene is different. When you surrender to him, when you go towards him, first thing is a loving host. He is not terrible as you think. Always we portray Yama with a big moustache, <laughs> sitting on the buffalo, black, with a big uh, rope in his hand, the pasa, pasa rope, and with an arrogant smile or an arrogant face, egoistic. But here, the whole scene is different. He is saying, Swahatam, please come. He is welcoming. You are the form of Agni. See the Vedic culture, Aditi Devo Bhava. In Vedic culture, we respect Aditi, guest is God. Aditi means man who comes without informing 
in which tidi he will come tidi he will come without informing in which tidi he will come that is why he is called aditi not the person who sends you email then phone call then fax then he will appear you go on receiving the airport no he is not aditi he is your relative you have to take care of him so that he will take care of you that's all it's a pure business please understand all our things are pure business relationship aditi means a person who straight away comes to your life the big problem is in this country the aditi concept is lost people can't believe still in indian villages all houses doors will be kept open in day time at least in the village i am born and brought up whole day the doors will be kept the doors of the house will be open and i have seen i will go to any house in that street and eat and any kid will come to the house and eat directly and the very idea aditi is disappeared people always tell me swami ji india is poor country i tell them no you don't know the value of that culture for example if you have to be received taken care and you have to stay for 3 4 days for your business purposes how much you will spend but in india you have some friend just one phone call the whole thing is done of course now there also because of the cultural innovation is coming down at least in villages still it is alive where the vedic culture is alive still it is alive aditi devo bhava we respect the guest as god guest is god he says you are aditi you have come to my house in the form of the vaishwana vaishwana agni means the agni which we worship the brahmana is considered to be the embodiment of the agni the divine agni you have come to my house as the embodiment of divine you are you are here let me respect you please forgive me apologize please forgive me three days i was not here to receive you usually we postpone yama usually we we escape from him when you go in search he will not be there that is the whole story usually he chases you you run away from him but he will be there behind you but if you turn and go towards him you will suddenly find he is not there beautiful powerful cognition let's go to the shastra pramana shastra pramana are the eternal unchangeable truth from revealed from source scriptures increasing height of body and object is taken from the shiva samhita 5.76 to 78 maranam ghatya detena sakena binaghadhya de ತಸ್ಯಸ್ಯಾತ್ಪರಮಿಗುಣ ಪ್ರದ ವಾಯುಸನ್ನಚದತೆ ದೇಹೆ ರಸವೃದ್ಧಿರ್ಭವೆಧ್ರುವ ಆಕಾಶಪನಕಜಗಲ್ತೀಯೂ ಸಮಿ ಬದ್ಧತೆ ಮರಣ ಖಾದ್ಯ ಸಿಗುಣ ಪ್ರದ ವಾಯುಸನಚರತೆ ದೇಹೆ ರಸವೃದ್ಧಿರ್ಭವೆಧ್ರುವ ಆಕಾಶಪನಕಜಗಲಪ್ತೀಯೂ ಸಮಿ ಬದ್ಧತೆ Bhagavan beautifully gave the exact meaning here. Shiva Samhita 5.7678 Bhagavan Parmashiva says, Death is eaten by him. He is eaten by none. He manifests the highest powers such as Anima, Lagima, Mahima, etc. 
the vayu wind energy moves equally throughout his body the juice of his body also are increased rasavritti the nectar excuding from the eternal lotus also increase in him bhagwan beautifully says when you face death death disappears death does not exist as long as you don't face death the death is there he says how beautiful that when we are running away from death death is chasing us when we run towards the death death is not even there it's there he is eaten by none when nachiketa goes to yama he is not available that is what bhagwan says is the essence as long as we are bound by uh, the i and mind we are constantly in the death bhagwan says even when we are alive we are in the death and these rishis munis all these great saints even when they are dead they are alive as jeevan muktas and bhagwan says they are like nuclear strong nuclear power so powerful that they can radiate and manifest as reality in any of us uh, in such a beautiful way even when they are dead they are radiating the highest powers and even when people are living on planet earth because of materialistic world because caught up in illusion and delusion they are dead every minute suffering and they are going on into the loop of vicious cycle instead of virtuous cycle they are falling into the vicious cycle of more material more and more struggle bhagwan beautifully says how nachiketa was ready to let go everything and go to yama stay at his door step and learn about the science of death which will make us to understand the science of life and yama become his guru teaching nachiketa the whole science such a beautiful scene and bhagwan beautifully gave us the powerful cognition how when we let go all these what is we are possessing we will be re- relieved of the mind and when you understand the death will only start the surviving instinct for us the i is created by the mind and that is only telling us again and again that we cannot live without the identity but letting go the identity and by establishing that i am paramashiva simply dissolves the identity which does not even exist because mind is hypothetically creating that which does not exist which is removed from us the pain and all the struggles are removed and bhagwan says the health wealth everything will start manifesting the less of you that is called humble and more and more more of me when bhagwan occupies you that is the best gift you can get simply as manifestation as your reality so beautiful with this powerful cognition let's go to the apta pramana the apta pramana is bhagavata purana power to decrease the size of the partner's index finger as stated in ramayana when narada muni sage praises of her purity and unparalleled devotion to her husband the respective wife of shiva vishnu brahma goddess durga lakshmi and saraswati became jealous sent their husband to anushya anushya the trinity took the form of three brahmans and asked sati anushya to for food on condition that she serves them unclothed agreeing to comply to their wishes anushya used her powers to turn the trinity into three babies and fed them and three goddesses came to anushya to apologize and requested her to turn them their husband back to the trinity and to their own form they blessed her with three sons 
Chandra from Brahma, Dathatriya from Vishnu, and Durvasa from Shiva. Since then, Sati Anushya is worshipped as a symbol of virtue and de devotion. Such was the possibility of the humans who could even change Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva into three babies and feed them. The Apta Pramanas are authorities of the Hinduism. The Rishis, Rishi Patnis lived in such a great way that they were able to manifest any reality they want simply by manifesting the powers of Paramashiva. With this, let's go to the Atma Pramana. Atma Pramana are the Leelas of Bhagwan. In 2005, October 12th, Los Angeles Temple, Inyo Koma said, HDS to the deity to manifest the anima. The Nataraja deity at Los Angeles Paramashiva Hindu temple is six feet, 10 inches tall. And the door is six feet, eight inches tall. In planning how to move the Nataraja into the temple, the disciples told Swamiji about the problem. Nataraja would not fit his reply was, don't worry, Nataraja will fit. They thought that they had made an error in the measurement and went and remeasured both the doors and the deity. Still, they had a problem with the size of the Nataraja. The disciple at the temple suggested to that they have to make a new large doorway to bring the deity and again said they will, they had the deity would not fit. But Bhagwan said that deity would fit and they took inside the dare, temple door and simply it fit and it went inside. They measured the door again after keeping inside and the Nataraja deity and found that the door is still small and the Nataraja deity is still 6 feet and 10 inches. Still today they no, did not understand how it happened but Bhagwan's Leela it simply happened and beautifully now in the LA temple. Let's go to the Shakshi Pramana. Shakshi Pramana for the power of Ashtama Siddhi Shakti, power of decreasing the size of your partner's index finger. So here you can see manifested, the crystal is saying she manifested my partner decreasing the size of the middle finger with her third eye. Shakshi Pramanas are the millions of devotee disciples who are all around the world who are manifesting and demonstrating all these powers and sharing their experiences with other devotees. Prataksha Pramana Scientific studies what can be measured, measuring the effect of being in enlightenment state. Deadlifting. Powerlifting exercises can be harmful to shoulder, lower back, and knee injuries, from muscle strain, tendons chronic to fractures. The deadlift exercise utilizes the entire posterior chain in the body and is considered one of the most effective full body muscle building exercises. However, deadlifts can pose a risk of spinal damage. Deadlifts place force on the spinal disc, especially when done with heavy weight. If you perform these exercises with a rounded or arched back, the amount of disc compression increases substantially and can result in bulged disc, pinched nerves, or other issues. Preparation and step-by-step -step personal coaching are necessary for novice who wants to lift heavy weight. Charts are given to indicate the average weight one can lift depending on the gender, height, weight, and level of training. Manifesting powers of Ashtamaha Shaktis, power of increasing the size of others. Mahima, how a Balasans from Nityananda Gurukul can effortlessly uplift double the weight. He should be able to lift for his height, weight, and level of training. Manifesting power of Ashtamaha Shaktis, powers to lift huge weights effortlessly also known as Lagima, power to make things lighter.
the Shastra Pramana, the direct words of Maha Sadashiva, where Sadashiva reveals how this Shakti manifests. It is from the Paushkar Agama, Vidyapada, Patala 6. Lagi Mashi Grage Vitvam Pankadha Vapya Majanam Mahima Vyapya Tasthanam you can take on the stage now. Yes, so first we have Srinivas, you'll be stepping up. Uh, and we'll take your weight first and see where you're at. And then we'll compare that number against the lift that you'll be doing. So if you want to just quickly step up and take your weight. As you can see, Srinivas and Maharaj, Arudra of the Nityananda order, is stepping up on the weighing scale. And you will be seeing... As you can see, he is 54.1 kgs. So 54 kgs. And on the bar, as I mentioned earlier, I got a little excited talking about this, is 115 kgs. And just to put this into perspective, I actually haven't lifted this weight in over three years. So what he's going to be doing is something I haven't trained and done in three years. And so I'm excited to see this. What, what he'll be comparing is up against, and again, this is very logical, and there's a lot of numbers involved. He's lifting roughly 120 pounds more than somebody that is a beginner, which is completely insane because I'm assuming he hasn't been training. If <laughs> I don't know how long he's been training for, but I don't think he's been training very long. And so, uh, 120 pounds more than a beginner, he'll be lifting, and he's lifting a weight that I haven't lifted in over three years. So. I'll let him take this. So that's great. Srinivasa Maharaj, you can come up in the front. You can see Srinivasa Maharaj is getting into the position. I don't mean to be a, a stickler for form and all this, but when it comes to training, form is everything. You're going to get much more power if you have like exact form. And I can say his form was not correct, but what it, it didn't matter. That's what's shocking is that you were able to somehow muster the strength without having the correct base. And, and Srinivasan Maharaj is just 54 kgs and he has lifted over 115 kgs just like that without any effort. Let's start setting up for the decreasing of your partner's index finger. Camera and timestamp for it. Nyananjan, if you have it, explain to a partner what exactly you're going to be doing. Let's take a few minutes to set up the camera, download the timestamp app, click on the video, ensure the time is shown on the screen clearly. It's in a bright and a quiet place. The camera is facing your partner, you and the index finger. Guidelines to start recording. Make sure to start manifesting the powers. Make sure you have video camera is in the record mode. Apply the Nyan engine between your third eye and bring your awareness to your third eye. Explain to your partner what you're going to be doing. Ask them to sit him or her to sit comfortably opposite to you. Take the measurement of the index finger twice so that it is very clearly measured. Through your third eye, change the size of the index finger um, of your partner. Do not touch the partner during the process. Verify the change in the index finger have decreased visibly. And verify it twice. Please share the verifying video and powerful cognition with your family and friends and listen to others' experience of manifesting the power. For manifestation, 
instructions. Let's sit straight, the head, neck and back in a straight line so that beautifully the Kundalini energy raises to the Agnya where the manifestation happens. Usually we are, our, our um, awareness is on Muladhara, Swadhishtana and Manipuraha where navel center, your below navel center. Here, bringing the awareness to your third eye and sitting straight will give us amazing possibility of power manifestation. Now let's understand few words that Bhagavan is repeatedly using. Shakti Pada, oneness, be unclutched, initiation. So here first we will see in Bhagavan's words what is Shakti Pada. Let me give an introduction about what is Shakti Pada process. Please understand. You would have seen or heard about how the chicken sits on the egg and hatches. Of course, in the modern countries, this does not happen. Machine sits on the egg and <laughs> our egg sits on the machine. In those days, originally when <laughs> hens and chicken were getting produced on the planet Earth, the hen used to sit on the chicken and hen used to sit on the egg and the <laughs> Chicken will come out of the egg. See, same way, Sadashiva, sitting, means the ultimate cosmic energy, sitting on the individual soul and making the individual soul into cosmic energy is Shaktipada. Hen sitting, on the egg and making the chicken happen, same way. You may think, how come, what is going on here? That hen is only sitting, just by the body heat of the hen, hen the egg is becoming chicken. Because no surgery is done and nothing goes inside. It's only sitting. Same way, it is just sitting. It's only the presence, the Shakti Pada makes the individual soul into cosmic soul. Beautifully, Bhagavan explained Shakti Pada, how individual soul becomes cosmic soul. And let's listen to initiation. See, let me explain the initiation. Initiation is the process beyond your intellectual understanding. The transmission of lamp happens. Now, you understood something intellectually. There is something which is not understood, which can't be transmitted through the words. That is transmitted. That's what we call initiation. Sometime I tell you know, people, but unless you are initiated, the techniques do not create the result. The reason is, you do not grasp completely whatever is expressed through words. Initiation is like a, it just transmits whatever need to be transmitted beyond logic and beyond words. People ask me, why to wear this bracelet or this mala and all those things. This all will remind you. Why bracelet in the hand? It will remind you before eating, did you meditate? <laughs> it's a constant reminder. Before eating, let you be reminded, did you do the meditation? That is why this bracelet. That is why this mala. That is why this external things. Sometimes, this external things does a big job of reminding you constantly. That is why take the help of external things also, nothing wrong. People ask me, why we can uh, just be spiritual without having external things? If you can, really you are welcome. But I don't think anybody who speaks in that way is successful. 
I have never seen people becoming successful, avoiding the external things, just having internal things. And it is just nice way of escaping from yourself. <laughs> Beautifully, Bhagwan explain initiation. Let's listen to be unclutched. What is to be unclutched? The thoughts, every thought is independent, illogical, unconnected, and unclutched. Because the gap between two thoughts is too small. The neutral space between the two, two thoughts is too small, you think all the thoughts are connected and it is in the sharp form. It is not. By your very nature, every thought is independent, illogical, unconnected, and unclutched. Every, within every thought, you experience a neutral space. When you change the gear, whether you go from neutral to one or one to two or two to three or three to four or four to whatever. Whatever gears may change, but every time you have to come to the neutral space, only when you can go to the next gear. Even if you want to go from two to three, you have to come to the neutral space. Only then you can go to three. Same day, between every thought, you experience a neutral space. You experience a neutral space between every thoughts, between every thought, that neutral space, that silence is what I call peace or bliss. The peace which exists, the bliss which exists already in you, between every thought, the gap of the thought, the gap between the thoughts, the internal space is the peace, is the bliss. When you understand, you are unconnected, independent, illogical and untouched by your very nature, you will start experiencing the neutral space in you, neutral space which exists in you, you will start living from moment to moment in spontaneity. We need to understand one more thing. This technique of being untouched, it does miracles in your being, in the body level, or in the mental level, or in the being level. In every level, when you understand the truth, by your very nature, you are untouched. The tremendous quantum transformation. You take a quantum jump, the transformation happens in quantum, not step by step. Just one jump. You take a quantum jump and experience the truth awakening in you. The oneness space is the most beautiful space that Bhagwan himself is explaining how we are ferocious beyond the tiredness and boredom. We can experience the space of oneness and be unclutched. Oneness is not imagination. Oneness is not visualization. Oneness is not even just declaration. It is your existence. And an idea which is you is oneness. The idea which has become part of your very space which does not tire you or bore you by the passage of the time is oneness. Mahadeva says in the Agama, 
Sadashiva beautifully explains in the Agama. Kala, Yama cannot tire you or bring boredom to you if something becomes your space. Devi achieved the blissful state and union with Mahadeva on Shivaratri day because our space became oneness. Anything which brings tiredness or boredom has not yet become your space. If living in this body brings you tiredness and boredom, you are not going to be living in this body forever. When that becomes too much, you are going to drop it and move ahead. If you want to be in oneness forever, it should become part of your space. Means, you should become ferocious with you and break this very tiredness and boredom. Only when you deal you with the ferociousness, you break the tiredness and boredom. With that ferociousness, you need to make oneness as your space. Anything stands as an imagination in the length level, visualization in the breadth level, declaration in the depth level. If you open your time with ferociousness, it just sinks into space level. With this ferociousness, the time layer in you opens and the oneness from imagination to visualization to declaration, it becomes your space, the way of existence. The most important, Bhagavan says, being unclutched, understanding the Shaktipada, the oneness space, and chanting the Mahavakya. The Mahavakya, the power of the Mahavakya, pushes you into the higher states of consciousness. Here, Bhagavan himself explains how we can experience the Shaktipada, raised higher consciousness through Mahavakya. It's one of the very important revelation by Sadashiva. All the electronic equipments work when the electrons are made to vibrate. That, that happens by the light. When the electricity is supplied, the light particle vibrates, the electronic equipment starts working. Just like that, the spiritual power and the umbilical cord connection, spiritual umbilical cord connection between you and me, it works with sound particle. For example, my integrity with the cosmos, Sadashiva, Maha Sadashiva, it reverberates in certain level of frequency. When you are integrated to me, you also start reverberating in the same frequency. If your integrity goes down, that is when you start connecting with me only as a manager or this organization head or your Purvasham father, mother. Your connection with me goes down to the lower level if the integrity gets reduced. I was wondering what is the way we can bring people to the higher integrity immediately and the feeling connection so they start manifesting the powers they start staying in the space of Sadashivatva Sadashiva revealed a beautiful sound I can tell you this is like a password at any point if you are not able to bring yourself to oneness you are a little shaken, disturbed or for some reason you are not able to bring yourself to oneness. This is like a password. You type whether your mind feels connected or not. The energy will start flowing in you. 
beyond the depth dimension. You see, all mind oscillation, restlessness, all mental idea based feeling connected or not feeling connected is only length, breadth, depth level, not in the space level. But this sound will straight infuse energy from the space level. Like, for example, if the power goes off, automatically the generator will get switched on and the power supply will be going on. So, end result will not be lost. Whether government power supply or the generator power supply, end result will not be stopped. So, whenever you feel little that oneness is, you are not catching it, just feed this password. Immediately the oneness will open up and you will start manifesting the powers, energy and the whole space will shift. It is directly from Sadashwai. It's a beautiful sound. I don't even want to say it's a mantra. It is not even a mantra because there is no meaning in it. You can't derive a meaning for it. It just flashed like a password for all the initiations I am giving. One single password for all the initiations I am giving. And the initiations I gave, I am giving, I will be giving for all the... This is like one password. Don't even repeat like a mantra. Just feed like a password and it will just open up. Your whole being will open up. Listen carefully. It starts with the vibration O. Listen and then repeat. O. Very deep. O. Nityananda. Nityananda. Maha. So Bhagavan gave beautiful explanation of how you can be in Shaktipada. Visualize Paramashiva who has come down as Bhagavan Nityananda Paramashivam from Kailasha. Remembering Paramashiva in your third eye again and again bringing your awareness to your third eye simply makes you manifest powers. Absolute unclutching. How Bhagavan said the neutral zone, nothing ever touches the screen. Like same way, the movie does not touch the screen, whether it is happening in ferocious or any soft view, beautiful, nothing touches the screen. Be untouched like the screen. And to experience the state of Paramashiva, your inner space being completely unclutched. Complete completion to experience the space of Paramashiva. Inside us, the Complete completion happens when we are in tune with Paramashiva. That everything is redundant and irrelevant. The essence of completion is irrelevant. Nothing matters in your life because everything is complete completion. Oneness with Paramashiva. How Bhagavan said in ferocious breaking the boredom and tiredness, just being in the space of oneness with Paramashiva to manifest the powers of Paramashiva. Tyaga as Paramashiva is your only strength now declaring complete integrity with Bhagavan to experience the being of Paramashiva. How Bhagavan said, chanting the Mahavakya raises your frequency and that is your only strength to manifest any reality. Being in this beautiful space of Paramashiva, you can experience such a beautiful space, state, powers and becoming the being of Paramashiva, manifesting whatever you want. Now, you will be manifesting the powers, watching the oneness capsule and chanting the Mahavakya Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. We will be playing the Mahavakya and the oneness capsule for you to manifest powers. At end of the Mahavakya, you can start with the verification and sharing and causing. Thank you. Om Nityanam 
परम शिव परम शिवानंद परम शिवानंद परम शिव परम शिवानंद परम शिवानंद परम शिव परम शिव परम शिव परम परमशिवानंद परम शिवानंद परम शिव परम शिवानंद परम शिवानंद परम शिव परमशिवानंद परम शिवानंद परम शिव परम शिव परम शिव लेग अमृत को लेग दी ओपन नित्यानंद परम शिवानंद परम शिवानंद परम शिव परम शिवानंद परम शिव 
process to decrease the index finger. Verify that no video editing is done on the Shakti Avishkarna videos, power manifestation videos. Verify video is not stopped or restarted during the full process of power manifestation. All videos are verified with the timestamp. All videos should be having wide angle view of the finger, your partner and you. Making sure you no know tampering of the scale or please do not add a nails measurement, make sure it is very accurate from the joint of your finger to the tip of your finger should be measured very clearly and five to 10 units of the measurement. It's like five centimeter or 10 centimeters difference should be vividly seen authentically for manifesting this power so that your manifestation is accurate. Thank you for manifesting this power. We are at the end of the power manifestation, but most important part of the power manifestation. Here, we are going to share all that you have manifested with the social media groups. Here, we have Sri Kalasha Kotiyar manifesting power groups. Thousands of people are part of that. And you can share there and you can post your powerful cognition and the videos. The link is tinyurl.com slash power manifestation. It is at the left corner of the page. You can click on it and you can post your beautiful experience in the power manifestation group. Why sharing and causing is very important part of power manifestation. Bhagwan beautifully exp explains that sharing is pulling us out of delusion and causing is liberating us. We are the ones who need to start experiencing the higher states of reality, how we need to exist. Beautifully, Bhagwan explains, when you are sharing with others the ultimate, beautiful, multidimensional logic, your brain rewires into the higher space of consciousness, the Turiya Tita state. Again and again, when you experience even a little bit, you share with the world, your experience becomes reality. Same thing when you cause others to come and get initiated for higher reality, you are caused into the higher purpose, the ultimate reality. Bhagwan says extreme causing, extreme power manifestation is extreme causing. So beautifully he explains how we our strength is declared on Paramashiva. The power manifestation happens exactly in tune to that. And sharing with the world, continuously reiterating ourselves, the experience that we had from the powerful cognition and manifesting the space of Paramashiva, the state of Paramashiva, the beings of Paramashiva, we become Paramashiva. Go on sharing and causing, which is the most important part of how you have experience your reality. When you go to a temple, we pray and we see that beautiful experience happen in us and then share with the world that how amazing the temple experience has manifested as your reality. Same way when you manifest powers, when you share with the world, it becomes more and more the depth cognition of you and you will be experiencing more powers. Even if you're manifested very small, it does not matter the quantity, Bhagwan says. The quality is important. If it is authentic, please go ahead and share with the world. Do not doubt, have self-doubt, self-denial, self-hatred, come and block anything. 
experience the ultimate in deep seeking and gratitude bhagwan manifest in you with a deep prayer that asking bhagwan to make this reality as your existential reality with that let's end with the purna mantra thanking bhagwan for all these great experience we have come to the end of the pa manifestation course and we end with the purna mantra om purnamada purnamidam purna purnamadashyate purnasya purnamataya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hi hari om tat sat sarvam bhavate shri nityananda parameshwaram paduka arpanam astu om nityanandam thank you for participating in the nyana padati nityananda nyana padati course please go ahead and select more pa manifestation and every day experience the ultimate reality for yourself nityananda om nityananda parama shivoham <laughs>